What's up? So in the last couple of weeks, I decided to build a top-down setup in my home studio, but I always had the problem that I never knew how I could build a setup that I can use simple and fast without having to rebuild it all the time after using it. So yeah, if you want to build a top-down setup for your own home studio, here's a really easy solution that you can use to build such a setup at home as well. And what you need are just a couple of things to get started. First, of course, a table. In this case, I just have a basic table from Ikea. I highly recommend to buy a table that isn't too small because otherwise Otherwise, you might have some problems to get the right shots. First, I actually had the plan to build it as small as possible, but as soon as you start to work on your top-down shots with all kind of props, for example, you will notice that some more space is always helpful. So a small and compact setup is great, but especially in this case, it is way easier if you have a table that offers some space for your work. But of course, if you want to build just a small setup, it's absolutely fine. The next two key elements that you need are first, of course, a tripod. In this case, I highly recommend to use a tripod that isn't too small, and it should be able Able to stay steady even if you use some heavy camera gear. And that is really important because otherwise you will have some problems here as soon as you mount your camera to take some shots. And what you also need is another tripod accessory and here I'm talking about such an extension arm. In the end this is an all-in-one solution for top-down shots. It allows you to build the top-down setup simple and fast because on the one side it is possible to mount the camera and on the other side you can add a counterweight to avoid the problem that your complete setup will fall over. And yes it is really important to have such a counterweight to protect your camera gear. Another tip that I want to share with you is to use such a flexible camera mount. In this case you can easily switch between landscape and portrait shots and that makes it easier and faster to create some cool shots and videos for all kind of projects. Another thing that I highly recommend to use is an additional softbox. My main key light is the Aperture 120D Mark II. That is really expensive and in most cases if you just get started you don't need it at all. And since I want to share a beginner friendly setup with you, I also have such a cheap softbox here from Amazon for around 30 bucks. That is absolutely defined to get some great shots. What you can also do is to get two of them, so that makes it possible to get a nice and bright setup for your photography or videos. In the end it always depends on what styles you like to use. I personally really like to use just one of them and sometimes I simply add my 120D Mark II if I need some more control or some additional light. But what I need to mention is that I will definitely upgrade the cheap softbox here as well because I want to have more control all the time. So maybe I'll buy one of these Aperture Amaran 200X lights to have some more options here as well. But that's not a must have here if you want to get started. These cheap softboxes are absolutely fine. And last but not least one of my favorite accessories for top down shots are these flat lay backgrounds. These are some high quality prints that you can easily use to create a variety of top down setups in just a couple of seconds. You just have to pick the one that you want to use and you're ready to get started. So yeah they're a perfect baseline for these kind of shots. I also recommend to get some basics as well. So white and black just in case if you need a flat and clean layout for your shots. But yeah for me this is a simple top down setup that I use all the time to get things done and on top it's not that hard to build it. If you want to get some high quality flat lay shots, such a setup is a perfect starting point and it makes things way much easier. So if you want to get started with flat lay photography or any top down videos, this is a great solution to get started. Just get some additional props to spice up your flat lay shots and you will get some great results. But yeah, this is a cheap top down setup that you can easily build in your home studio as well. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new, don't forget to smash that subscribe button to stay updated for upcoming videos and I'll see you in the next video.